it's Mickey B. We're back with Life is Strange, part two, I think this, yeah, Chrysalis, that's what this is called. It's currently like 12.30, I can't sleep, so we're gonna play some video games. Let's continue. Uh, I just busted Nathan Prescott to the principal. I want to try and play as honest and as real as possible and whatever happens, whatever happens. I'm trying my best to be good and honest. Would Nathan Prescott please come to the front office? Thank you. As he should. Well, someone obviously cares about her a lot. Sit. Tab. Meet you in the lot. Okay, so we are. Okay, so I need to get this guy flash drive. Okay, these are the people that I need, and then that's my journal. Okay. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. I need to go to my dorm. Where is my dorm? Don't worry. Thank God there's a sign. I bump into you. Okay, nothing happened. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. The Prescott dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? I don't think that means they own it. I think they just donated money to it. Oh. To have it Hi, booked. Max. How are you doing? No. Fantastic. I'm by myself for eating chiclet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Vortex Club. I think you're better off reading Chiclet. Good point. Now, if you'll excuse me. Yeah. Oh, look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. And that is what they call What him. a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now. Why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. Mm. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. I 
don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. <laughs> yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. That too good. Oh, are we gonna? Are we gonna paint? Are we gonna have fun with paint? Sorry, no paparazzi allowed. She looks like a pissed off wet cat, and she's still stylish. Okay, well, what else do I need to do? I tried that. Sorry, okay. Nice. Oh, hey. Oh, why can't I talk to her? There's only one way around this. Um, hold shift to... Okay, let's see if this works. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. Do I mess with this again? What the hell? Are you kidding? Or Look should at they this. Be Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, no. Nope. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Mm -hmm. Should get out of my way now? I'm gonna step on the paint. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Be nice. I've got my. Revenge. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. No. But there will be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. Will you be nice I to hope me those now? sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Victoria probably played me. I should I've been nice to people who have been mean to me before. Welcome to Black Hill. 219. Hurry, Courtney. Life's 
I, uh, stole my backpack. No. Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. Black one. I'd love to make a photo collage of every person who've posted these. Man, people here are merciless. That's Rachel and wait, what was I? Two nights? Full of fire alarm. Don't be a zombie. Poor pang for Jesus. But what's this poster really trying to tell me? <laughs> Take off your shirt. Oh yeah, two nineteen. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. Oh, cookies. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut. It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. It's such a pretty guitar. Oh, I got something from mom. Oh, okay, so you think we think it's fake. Perfect. Wonderful. I need to play it more. You play it. Her left hand is not moving. There it goes. Play on your own time, Max. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of the October Country. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbird. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I haven't forgotten you, little Lisa. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mom. <laughs> Drink up. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. There's my poor laptop begging me to check in. Here's my go-to source for instant photo ins I am so addicted to this site. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Is that my boy? Is that my boy? Oh. Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. I borrowed your drive so I could watch some flicks. Who, who's D? Dana? Who's Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game. And then Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Who is Clo Clo? Cartier-Bresson, Doineau, Hamilton, 
the greatest. So cheesy, but it makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I saw the Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. Graphic He's such a goofball. Cannibal Holocaust. Does she like him? Is it so cute? Okay, Dana. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rotten there. Popping my fingers. Oh, that sounds like where I need to go. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. So stupid. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You are ridiculous. She's your friend. Friends don't sex with their best friend's <laughs> boyfriend. No, probably not. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Uh, <laughs> Juliet Mason. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Wow, she doesn't like me. Oh, um, what was it? Oh, did you do it all the way? Hey, Juliet. Is so oh, yes, Mac. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. I, I totally uh, Of know course it. I do. Totally. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. If you don't let me out, I will scream. Would Dana do that? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. Oh, no. According to Victoria. Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Okay, where's Victoria's room? Because this is bullshit. I'm doing this. So Welcome to Black Hill. Victoria Chase 221. Oh, she's right opposite of my my room. I bet it's a computer. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Okay, how do I print? This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Because I need that freaking flash drive so I can go sex up my boy. Ah. Yes, that's that is that's toilet paper. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No. But I get stupid jealous. She gets I stupid. owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk.
Almost done. Get the flash drive, and then I'll go see Warren. Must protect my precious, so Max never has to chase it down again. What the fuck? <sighs> okay. No. Okay. I need to get to the parking lot. Which I don't know where the parking lot is. Fuck this shit! Ow! That hurt! Damn, I better rewind. Nope, nope, I, I hit tab. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. I just can't win. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. She seems like the nicest person ever. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Maybe I should rewind and mind no. my own business? I did good. So is this like a prep school or is it like a college or something? Maybe I should read that journal. Why is he waiting for me in the parking lot? Just wait for me at my dorm. Just I'm glad you? I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people okay. being bullied. How could Zach and Victoria do that to me? Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is <laughs> such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. <laughs> Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. I wonder how long before Samuel has to repaint that. Oh, that's my boy. Max, get your ass over here. I am, son. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. 60 miles? You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that <laughs> one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that, 
Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Did I? Did I look at the flash drive? Should I put that in my computer? Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. <laughs> Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. You're Ouch, so that sounds awful the way you say it. I'm cringy. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. <laughs> I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. Answer me, bitch! Oh. I told him the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what? Give you a stern lecture? Nobody. Nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh, man. You're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Did you just headbutt him? Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore right in the bathroom! <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Go! Oh, go! Oh, I got this! Get in, Max! You don't leave your get boy your to get... Get your fucking in there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Okay, so the security officer ran up. He had to have seen that, Man. right? Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. How did you not oh, recognize her? Thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. <laughs> At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course, it's one of the best photography programs in the country. Yeah. 
and my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were you happy to wait me. five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. How am I gonna get myself out of this one? Broken? Oh, man, are you serial? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. <laughs> Welcome home, Max. That's cute. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home, shit, home. Okay, we are gonna end it here. It seems as if the girl that was about to get shot turned out to be like my best friend and I didn't even know it, which is all right, it'll pass, um, I guess. I mean, in that picture, she had brown hair, and now she has blue hair, so... I'm sure I wouldn't recognize my best friend after five years, just because she changed her hair color. Anyways, it's getting late, and I'm finally starting to get sleepy, so... Is that a bad thing <laughs> about this game? No, no, I'm kidding. It's a good game. Well, guys, good night. See you in the next part where we will explore uh, her house. So, bye.